Have you ever pondered on the existence of a real-life zombie virus? Zombies, the walking dead, creatures of the night. They've been a staple of horror films and novels for decades, capturing our collective imaginations with their relentless hunger and mindless drive. We've seen them in every form, from shambling corpses to sprinting predators, and they've become an enduring symbol of apocalyptic dread. But what if this symbol was more than just a symbol? What if it was a terrifying possibility? In the world of science a zombie is not necessarily a rotting corpse but rather an organism that has lost control of its actions, succumbing to the will of an external force. This concept of a zombie virus isn't as far-fetched as it may seem. Nature is full of parasites and pathogens that can manipulate their hosts in extraordinary ways. Consider the Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, a fungus that infects the brains of ants, turning them into mindless drones that serve only to spread the fungus's spores. Or the Toxoplasma gondii, a parasite found in cats that can alter the behavior of rats, making them less afraid of predators and thus more likely to be eaten, benefiting the parasite's life cycle. Drawing from these examples, a zombie virus would need to have similar characteristics. It would need to be highly contagious, alter the behavior of its host, and ultimately lead to the host's demise. It's a horrifying thought, isn't it? The idea that a microscopic entity could rob us of our free will, turning us into mere vessels for its propagation. And yet, it's this very fear, this morbid fascination, that draws us to the concept of the zombie virus. It's a reflection of our deepest anxieties about loss of control, about the fragility of life, and about the unknown. It's an exploration of the thin line between fact and fiction, between science and speculation. But could this nightmare fuel be a reality? The answer might be chilling. The icy wilderness of Antarctica hides secrets beyond our wildest imaginations. Imagine, if you will, the unyielding expanse of the Antarctic landscape. It's a silent world, frozen in time, a place where the hustle and bustle of human life feels like a distant memory. But beneath its icy surface there's a story waiting to be told. A story that begins with a scientific expedition. A team of intrepid researchers, armed with ice drills and an insatiable curiosity, embarked on a journey to the heart of this frosty wilderness. Their mission? To extract ancient ice cores, cylinders of ice that serve as time capsules from the past. These ice cores can tell us a great deal about our planet's climate history, but sometimes, they reveal something more. As our team drilled deeper into the ice they stumbled upon an unexpected discovery. A mysterious virus, perfectly preserved in the Antarctic ice. This was not just any virus, it was unlike anything they had ever seen before. Its structure, its genetic makeup, it was all new, all different. It was as if they had unearthed an alien life form right here on Earth. The discovery sparked a flurry of excitement and apprehension. What was this virus? How did it end up in the Antarctic ice? And most importantly, could it still be active? The team knew they had stumbled upon something extraordinary, something that could potentially change our understanding of viruses and their evolution. The intrigue surrounding the unearthed virus was palpable. Scientists around the world eagerly awaited further studies hoping for answers to these burning questions. The discovery opened up a world of possibilities and with it a world of uncertainties. As the team delved deeper into their research, they were met with a series of surprises. The virus was more complex than they had initially thought, and its origins remained a mystery. But the biggest surprise was still to come. What scientists found next would rewrite our understanding of viruses. Is the virus from the icy depths of Antarctica the long-feared zombie virus? The question at hand is deeply intriguing and one that sends shivers down your spine. But let's delve into the scientific investigation and separate fact from fiction. When scientists first found the virus in Antarctica, they were astounded by its uniqueness. It was unlike anything they had encountered before. The virus's ability to survive in extreme cold conditions and its resilience against known treatments were unsettling yet fascinating. But does this make it a zombie virus? The hypothetical zombie virus as we know from pop culture reanimates the dead, turning them into mindless, flesh-hungry creatures. But this is where reality diverges from fiction. The Antarctica virus while resilient and unique doesn't possess the ability to raise the dead or alter human behavior in such an extreme way. However, the virus does have some similarities to our concept of a zombie virus. It's incredibly durable, able to survive in harsh conditions. It's also highly adaptable, capable of infecting various species. But the most striking similarity is its potential to cause severe neurological damage, 
This could conceivably result in behavioral changes, albeit not to the extent of creating mindless, flesh-eating zombies. The implications of finding such a virus are enormous. For one, it opens up new avenues for research in virology. It could help us understand how viruses adapt and survive which could be invaluable in our fight against diseases, but, it also raises concerns. If this virus were to spread to more hospitable climates, the consequences could be dire. While it may not create zombies, it could still wreak havoc on global health. So, is this the long-feared zombie virus? The answer is a resounding no. But that doesn't make it any less fascinating or important. It's a testament to the wonders and mysteries that our world holds, waiting to be discovered. The truth is far more complex and fascinating than fiction. The discovery of the Antarctic virus has far-reaching implications. Imagine for a moment the world of science turned on its head. The Antarctic virus discovery does exactly that, shaping a new perspective on the realm of virology and medicine. This isn't an everyday find, it's a landmark event that's causing ripples of excitement and apprehension in equal measure. Our understanding of viruses, until now, has been based on what we've seen, known, and studied. However, the Antarctic virus is different, it's unique, it's something we've never encountered before. This discovery therefore alters our understanding of what a virus can be and how it can operate. In the field of medicine, this could mean a seismic shift. Our existing treatments and therapies are designed around our current comprehension of viruses. If the Antarctic virus behaves differently, that could necessitate new approaches to treatment. We might be looking at the dawn of a new era in antiviral therapies, a time of medical innovation spurred by a virus from the coldest corners of the globe. But what about the zombie virus you might ask? Well the Antarctic find changes our perspective on that too. The discovery of an entirely new type of virus in an unexpected location gives credence to the possibility that other unusual viruses, like the so-called zombie virus, could exist. It doesn't confirm the existence of a zombie virus but it does make the concept less improbable. The potential future research directions are vast and varied. Scientists around the world are now keen to explore the Antarctic virus further, to understand its structure, its behavior, its strengths and its weaknesses. And in doing so, they hope to gain insights that could revolutionize our approach to viruses and disease. Remember, every great journey begins with a single step. The discovery of the Antarctic virus is that first step into uncharted territory, and who knows where this path might lead. This discovery is just the beginning of an exciting journey of exploration. So does a real-life zombie virus exist? As we delve into the crux of the matter, let's recap what we've uncovered so far. We began with the enigma of the zombie virus, a concept that has captured our collective imaginations through countless horror films and novels. Then we ventured to the icy wilderness of Antarctica, where scientists discovered a mysterious virus preserved in its frozen landscape. From the realm of fiction to the confines of a high-tech laboratory, the concept of a zombie virus has proven to be a persistent one. We've explored the line between fact and fiction, examining the evidence and the implications of such a virus existing in our world. But now, it's time to draw some conclusions. Based on the evidence we've examined, it's clear that the idea of a virus that can reanimate the dead or transform the living into mindless creatures is, for now, firmly rooted in the realm of fiction. The virus found in Antarctica, while fascinating, does not possess the capabilities often attributed to the mythical zombie virus. However, it's important to remember that the world of virology is a complex one, with new discoveries being made every day. While we haven't found a zombie virus per se, We've certainly come across viruses that can drastically alter their host's behavior. Take the Toxoplasma gondii parasite, for instance, which can manipulate the behavior of rats to make them less afraid of cats, increasing the parasite's chances of being transmitted. So, while the idea of a zombie apocalypse remains a staple of science fiction, the reality is far more nuanced. Viruses and parasites do have the ability to alter behavior, but not to the extent depicted in pop culture. In conclusion, a real-life zombie virus, in the way we traditionally understand it, does not exist. But the study of viruses and their effects on behavior is a fascinating field, one that continues to evolve and surprise us. The world of viruses is filled with mysteries, some of which are yet to be unearthed. 